There's no tension in art. And we are here today, you know, peacefully protesting with a paintbrush. Welcome, you're just in time. A vision of healing and hope through art. Guide the edge of the brush. A simple gesture giving new life to this storefront in North Philly. We found some inspiration and we went with it. The group Walls for Justice is trying to inspire change after hundreds of businesses remain boarded up in Philadelphia. It's the aftermath of several days of looting following the killing of George Floyd. The team's vibrant colors and messages are sprinkled throughout the city. I am starting to understand how art is, you know, pivotal for connecting with other people. Samuel Rodriguez watched thousands take to the streets across Philadelphia. He felt it was time to be a part of the movement in his own way. As a Hispanic, you know, I have also been you know, targeted and marginalized, and I know what it feels like. They want anyone who walks down Broad Street to see the message of Nelson Mandela. It is in your hands to create a better world for all who live in it. It's a quote selected by husband and wife business owners who also see art as a way to bring people together. We wanted to show that it doesn't matter where you really come from, unity can happen. Across the city in South Philly, another group trying to bring about change through art. The Young Flames, a rap group of kids no older than 12, have been activists against gun violence. These boys are now also focused on racism and policing. That could have been me. Yeah, that could have been me instead of George Floyd just because of my skin color. They organized a kneel for justice at their neighborhood park. It was their way of fighting back. These 10 boys also joined protesters around City Hall earlier this month, some lying on the ground face down in honor of George Floyd. The Young Flames believe they could be the generation to spark a change. We just want everybody to feel safe walking to the store, no matter where you're going, in the car. We felt good because we were fighting for people like us. Art, leading the way for hope and positivity in Philadelphia. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.